President Biden talked with his Mexican counterpart today, the conversation focusing on the looming deadline to lift the COVID era expulsion policy known as Title 42 and the recent surge in border crossings. Correspondent Robert Sherman joins us live from Eagle Pass, Texas. That is a community on the border. And Robert, what else can you tell us about today's call? Well, Ruta Bay, the White House is calling today's call, quote, constructive, saying that President Biden and Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador spoke at length about international coordination to try and uh, stymie the flow of migrants from Central and South America and Mexico up here to the U.S.-Mexico border. Uh, it seems as though the messaging is keeping in lockstep with what we've heard from this administration in the past, taking a more preemptive approach, trying to improve the situation in some of these other other countries so that pe folks will have less of a reason to leave and migrate here to the U.S. Mexico border. So that's the preemptive approach. But here's what we're seeing right now. Crossing after crossing is happening here at the border, right where we've been standing for the last couple of days here in Eagle Pass, Texas. We've been speaking with migrants who have come from all over the place, Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua. Uh, we've met with people from Mexico, even Africa as well. Uh, Listen to this from uh, Congressman Fallon earlier today he's calling for like many republicans st strategic policy change when it comes to migration listen to this president trump had the migrant protection protocols which said if you cross the border illegally and claim asylum you'll wait in mexico while your pro while your claim is adjudicated that policy worked unfortunately in march 221,000 illegal border crossers that's 542 percent worse than the last march where president biden wasn't in office and we've heard those sentiments echoed by a lot of people, whether it's Border Patrol or local law enforcement down here. Things have been busy on the border. And just a few short hours ago, we saw the National Guard setting up a new barbed wire fencing along the border to try and control the flow of migrants to help with the apprehension front. That seems to be the main issue down here is how do you handle all of these apprehensions? Border Patrol has told us that right now, they're already overwhelmed with what they've been seeing if Title 42 goes away and the number of migrant crossings doubles, even triples, they don't know what they're going to do. Rudabe? Robert Sherman on the border for us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.